What's going on, comic fans? Welcome to Pages, Panels, and Pictures, the show that talks all things comics, movies, and beyond. Today, we have another episode of Roach Boy's Comic Corner, where I, Roach Boy Red, deliver the comic origins and histories of various comic book characters, mostly to prepare the MCU fans for what's to come, and for that matter, what's already begun. On this episode, I'll be exploring the character of America Chavez, also known as Miss America. As most know by now, she's slated to appear in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, portrayed by Zosio Gomez. Over the next few weeks, I'll be diving into stories of many characters, both confirmed and rumored to appear in the movie, releasing on May 6th. I'm going to start this video off by saying I, myself, am not too familiar with America Chavez. Most of her appearances I read were a part of the Young Avengers and the Ultimates titles, so bear with me and enjoy while we explore her origin together. America Chavez was created in 2011, during a time when Marvel was invigorating their universe, sparking an introduction of many teenage comic book characters. During these years, characters like Miles Morales and the Young Avengers were showing up. Kamala Khan, Kid Loki, even the second Nova Sam Alexander. The list is vast. But much to Marvel's liking, most of these characters were actually massively successful, which cemented their place in comic history. Anyways, America's story goes along the lines of this. She believed her and her sister Catalina were raised by their mothers in an alternate dimension called the Utopian Parallel, which was in the presence of a magical entity, the Demiurge, also known as William Kaplan, the son of the Scarlet Witch. We'll be covering both him and his twin brother Speed in a future video. So Chavez believed it was this demiurge that was responsible for imbuing her with her superpowers. She has super strength, speed, and durability. She can fly and is invulnerable, and she can project star blasts from her hands, which pack a punch capable of injuring even the likes of Captain Marvel. This actually sounds like a fairly similar power set to Marvel. That is, until you get to her most utilized power and her ability to create star portals, which were gateways throughout the multiverse and alternate dimensions. From what America remembers, when she was a young child, her dimension was facing destruction, so her mother sacrificed themselves to close the black holes threatening the dimension, scattering their atoms across the multiverse. Chavez then abandons the utopia and begins traveling across the multiverse, eventually starting to act as a superhero under the name Miss America. Chavez eventually joins up with a group known as the Teen Brigade, where her and the hero Ultimate Nullifier acted as co-leaders. While with the team, Chavez manages to free an entity known as the In-Betweener from a government confinement facility. The In-Betweener is the living incarnation of the concepts of balance and duality, a cosmic being on par with Galactus. After gaining helpful information from the In-Betweener, the Teen Brigade went to stop the New Masters from quote-unquote, disrupting the balance of chaos and order. While attempting to stop Kid Loki from joining the New Masters, Loki ends up sending her to an alternate dimension but she would be found and rescued by the in-betweener and a few other heroes. Once back in the 616, Miss America and her team took on the Young Masters and the villainous Doctor Doom, but in the end, the ultimate nullifier ended up shooting the in-betweener, deciding that sacrificing him was more important for the greater good. This actually eventually played a part in Miss America splitting up from the team. Sometime after leaving the Teen Brigade, Chavez ends up saving Wiccan, Hawkling, and Loki from a parasite known as the Mother, accidentally awakened by one of Loki's botched spells. Aided by Marvel Boy, however, they do manage to defeat the Mother in the end. During her time with the Young Avengers, she's finally able to come out as a lesbian, and begins dating an EMT named Lisa Hollering. Over the next few years, America actually joins up with the team A-Force, and later on the Ultimates, being recruited by Blue Marvel before receiving her own solo series, America Chavez Made in the USA. During this comic book run, everything America remembered from her childhood is called into question when it's revealed that the Utopian Parallel was actually just a private island where a billionaire known by Mr. Gales dedicated a research facility to curing her and her sister Catalina's Edges Syndrome. But after discovering the evil plans in store for the girls, their mothers, Amalia and Elena, actually sacrifice themselves so that their daughters can escape, but only America manages to. Ms. America actually appears in some mobile games, and she makes an appearance in cartoon series like Marvel Rising on Disney+, Plus. but her first major appearance is confirmed for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, where she'll be played by Zosio Gomez. 
Based off the rumors, she may actually have a bigger role than we expected, and the word on the street is that she may even be being targeted by Wanda. Alright guys, I hope this video gave you some insight into America Chavez and maybe even motivated you to check out some of her storylines. My personal recommendation being Young Avengers, which seems to be slowly forming in the MCU as well. I know after doing this, I'm going to go back and check out Made in the USA, but that does it for another episode of Roach Boys Comic Corner. In an upcoming episode scheduled to release later this week, we'll be covering US agent Johnny Walker. If you enjoyed yourself, give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified when we drop another episode. You can follow me on IG at Roach the Boy Wonder. This has been Pages, Panels, and Pictures. I've been your host, Roach Boy Red, and remember to keep reading comics.